Brahma Kumari's organization gave the message of yoga and Raj Yoga to 1 crore people across the world on International Yoga Day. Yoga programs were organized in 9,000 service centers, sub-service centers and institutes located in 140 countries of the world. To begin with, 10,000 people participated in the program organized at Manmohini One and Diamond Hall of the headquarters Shantivan. The program organized at Manmohini One, the senior yoga instructor BK Babubhai, while practicing various yoga asanas, explained the benefits of each asana and its specialties. He said that through various asanas of yoga, we can solve every problem related to the body. Apart from this, a grand program was organized at the capital New Delhi's Red Fort by Delhi Zone, where 7,000 people did intensive practice of Raj Yoga meditation for the first one hour to spread vibrations of peace and harmony to the world. After that, everyone was made to do yoga to keep the body fit and healthy. Brahma Kumari St. Petersburg celebrated 10th International Yoga Day in the presence of special guest Mr. Kumar Gaurav, the Consul General of India in St. Petersburg and 10 dedicated brothers from the Headquarters India at the Peace Park of Lighthouse Centre. On this special day, senior brother BK Vijay Bhai welcomed all the participants and BK Bhanu Bhai from Shanti One guided everyone to perform yoga asanas. After that, BK Santosh Didi, the director of Brahma Kumari St. Petersburg, conducted a Raj Yoga meditation session. Apne man ko sab taraf se dur kar, apni taraf, nich atma ki taraf le jate ho. Yaznayu, shtuya, Similarly, International Day of Yoga was celebrated in Moscow, Russia on a large scale, which was inaugurated by His Excellency Mr. Vinay Kumar, the Ambassador of India to Russia. He greeted the big gathering of hundreds of yoga lovers and heads of yoga and Ayurvedic associations in Russia and pointed out the benefits of yoga practices. Brahm Kumaris, uh, I have uh, been uh, interacting with, uh, been in touch with, again for uh, almost 25 odd years. And uh, the sisters and the organization as a whole have uh, made immense uh, uh, service to the better living of the common man and woman. Uh, the Raj Yoga uh, technique uh, uh, is, is a holistic uh, and again very scientific. Uh, the, the way the community has brought to, uh, within its fold all sections of so societies. I have seen Brahm Kumari's act in countries like Poland and USA and also in countries in strife and conflict uh, uh, in Myanmar for example. And I'm always uh, 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 grateful for, uh, for, the, uh, for the services uh, that Brahm Kumari uh, as an organization able to provide uh, to everybody, but particularly underprivileged. Uh, and uh, no wonder when I came here, uh, among the very first things I did in the embassy was to uh, organize, and the sister uh, Sudha was so kind to organize a, 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 a course for the all embassy officials in the embassy. Uh, in Moscow. So I am grateful to her and grateful to all of you uh, for, for being a partner with, uh, with us in this celebration of 10th International Day of Yoga. Ms. Olga Zilina, the Head of Foreign Economic and International Relations Moscow, supported the concept of International Day of Yoga and encouraged everyone to learn yoga. Amongst them, Brahma Kumaris were also present, especially BK Sudhadidi, the Director of Brahma Kumaris Moscow conducted the silence meditation and continued with a talk on Raj Yoga for peace, love and happiness. She began her talk with the words that every living being on the planet Earth needs peace, love and happiness. Even if a person has all the material attainments but no peace, love and happiness, 
the life seems to be hollow without any purpose. Raj Yoga helps not only to experience but also to attend peace, love, happiness and a lot more, she added. Tapos mag central bank, ito mahalik kayo na to, chiko so that he was also interviewed by TV breaks after that mr. Brijesh Gupta an experienced yoga trainer for Jawaharlal Nehru Cultural Center conducted exercises for the healthy body and mind participants enjoyed the yoga exercises and with great enthusiasm register names to learn more Despite the difficult situation in the country, the Indian Embassy in Ukraine celebrated the 10th International Day of Yoga, in which Brahma Kumaris Kiev and Sangam Richard Center were especially invited by the Embassy for the event. Along with that, Embassy officers, Indian students, representatives of the Indian diaspora, instructors and students from yoga centers, members of the Art of Living and others were also present. After the main part, Kiev Center Coordinator BK Sister Nina and BK students met with the Ambassador of Ukraine to India, Mr. Harsh Kumar Jain and the Second Secretary of the Embassy, Mr. Satendra Kumar Yadav. A new value-based project, Happy Pure Prosperous Family God's Masterpiece launched by the Brahma Kumari Center in St. Petersburg, Russia. In the divine presence of BK brothers from headquarters Shantivan, India, BK Santosh Didi and senior brother BK Vijay. The project aimed at enhancing the inculcation of virtues and powers for a happy and peaceful life through understanding the spiritual laws that govern the interaction between individuals, family members and communities. On the occasion of the 33rd anniversary of Dadi Guljarzi's visit to Brist in Belarus, a beautiful celebration was held in the Belarus Center to acknowledge the tireless service of Dadi Ji. On this special day, senior brother BK Vijay from Moscow, Russia joined this occasion and nurtured everyone with Baba's light and might. To recall those unforgettable memories, a beautiful video was shown to all. Brother Vijay instilled inspiration, enthusiasm and contentment in all the BK members while sharing his experiences and the learning he received from Dadi Gulzarji. During the visit to Brest, Brother Vijay had a meeting with Mrs. Galina Ivanova, head of the Pioneer Organization and discussed the activities of Brahmakumaris. There are so many key issues that small island developing states are facing because of its geographical area. Small island suffers a lot of vulnerability in terms of the climate change and external shocks like economical, social and public health, which can cripple sits within a very short period of time. To take concrete and necessary steps to come out of these serious issues, the 4th International Conference on Small Island Developing States was held in Antigua and Barbuda under the theme Charting the Coast Towards Resilient Prosperity, in which Mr. Dennis Francis, the President of the United Nations, His Excellency Gaston Alfonso Brown, the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, and world leaders gathered in the Caribbean island of Antigua and Barbuda. The objective of the conference was to assess the ability of SIDS to achieve sustainable development, including the 2030 Agenda and its Sustainable Development Goals. The event brought together over 3,000 delegates that will guide small island developing states towards resilient prosperity in partnership with the international community.
the new Antigua and Barbuda Agenda for Seeds outlines steps to achieve resilient prosperity in partnership with the international community. The United Nations stands with you in reaffirming SEED's aspirations to halt and mitigate the terrible impacts of the climate crisis, to build resilient economies, to foster safe, health and prosperous societies, to achieve water, food and energy security, to conserve biodiversity and to protect and sustainably use the ocean and its resources. I urge SEED's governments to back up these words with bold investments and sustained engagement across all sectors of sustainable development. The major contributors to climate change have failed to meet their obligations to mitigate its effects, causing significant harm to SEEDs and our planet in general. That is why, together with the then Prime Minister of Tuvalu, I established the Commission of Small Island States in Climate Change and International Law courses at COP26 in 2021 to seek climate justice and to advocate for rights. Acting on behalf of SIDS, courses successfully obtained a historic and unanimous advisory opinion from ITLAS on May 21st, 2024. This ruling affirmed the legal duty of all nations to immediately mitigate greenhouse gas emissions, to keep temperature rise within 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels in protection and preservation of the marine environment. I specifically held, or specifically held that it is not sufficient for nations to simply make empty and grossly in inadequate commitments under the Paris Agreement. We must hold them accountable. Let me be clear. While courses will persist in legally safeguarding SIDS interests, my hope is that future COPs will deliver the necessary results, averting the need for further court action. And I add here that if we have to take further action, further court action, we certainly will. Amongst them, Brahma Kumaris, who were affiliated to the United Nations, also participated as an NGO with five participants, including BK Dr. Payal, National Coordinator of the Brahma Kumaris in Antigua and Barbuda, Sister Janoris Robinson, the board member of Brahma Kumaris in Antigua, Sister Kinnari from Guana, Sister Mirna from Barbados, and Sister Ragini from Suriname. The BK sisters met many dignitaries, including the Honorable Prime Minister of Tonga, Aruba, Barbados, St. Kitts and Nevis, Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs of India, High Commissioner of India in Guana, Indian Consul in Antigua and Barbuda, Minister of Health, Wellness and Environment in Antigua and Barbuda, and Minister of Planning and Development in Trinidad and Tobago. Along with them, delegates from at least 111 countries to converge in Antigua for SIDS conference. Sister Janice Robinson made an appeal for the introduction of values in education to be taught in school at one of the sessions. Sister Pyle attended a plenary session and shared with Minister of Education, Sports and the Creative Industries of Antigua and Barbuda and very close encounters with some of the very prominent leaders from the Caribbean and around the world. Sister Pyle has attended various side events and actively participated in one of the sessions with President of Maldives. All five sisters were like Shaktis, spreading their powerful vibrations and messages of Almighty Father. That's all for now. Thanks for watching our broadcast today. We hope that you found our coverage informative and valuable. Join us again next time for more news and updates on events around the world. Until then, take care and goodbye.